Hi to all. Welcome to Rams Android Tutorials. <coughs> In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a custom list view in Android. First of all, let us see the op output of this uh, custom list view. Then you will get one idea how it, how it will be. See, this is a uh, called custom list view. Means the list view we are customizing here. So here I'm displaying uh, one photo, uh, means a famous person's photo and uh, his name and uh, his uh, uh, nature of the work means he is an actor otherwise he is a freedom fighter like that so let us the let us see the code how to create this list view so first of all i have downloaded this all these images and stored in a drawable folder remember whatever the images you are storing in the drawable folder those image names should not having any uh, should not have any uppercase letters and special characters all names should have a lowercase letters and dot and they can have underscore also and 0 to 9 numbers right so first of all i have created the project and stored the images here and uh, we will get defaultly main activity and as well as for the main activity we will get activity underscore main dot xml in this i am creating a list view tag and width i am giving match parent and uh, height also i am giving the match parent and we are taking the id property to call this list view in the java code and i am giving the id is a list view let us see the graphical uh, layout of this. So this is the list view created. Come to the main activity. First of all, under on create method, call the list view uh, reference. So we are calling the list view reference. Find view by find view by id r dot id dot list view. And after that, uh, from the drawable folder, the images I have called and stored in the integer array. To display the names of these persons, I have created the names array and as well as descriptions array. See how much data means how many items you are having in the image array. Uh, same number of uh, names only you need to take in the names array and according to the same order. Suppose first image is a big B and the name is also big B like that and descriptions. Now after that we need to implement the adapter called base adapter so that I am creating a class called custom adapter class. Okay, custom adapter extends with a base adapter. Why we are taking subclass implementation in a sense? Our main activity class is already having one super class now. So in Java, you cannot implement more than one super class. Why? Because Java does not support a multiple inheritance concept. That's why we are implementing this base adapter uh, sub, uh, with the help of a subclass implementation. So I'm pressing Alt Enter and overriding the methods. So I'm overriding all these four methods. So in the first get count method, we need to return the size of the data. So size of the data is uh, we are taking the images and dot we are calling the length. And under get view method, we need to call a XML file. So we need to create a separate XML file for the customizing. So we want to display the image and uh, name as well as uh, his uh, nature of the work. So it means what he is famous for. Okay. So we are creating a new XML file. And name I'm giving a custom layout. <clears throat> so here we are going to change the layout to the relative layout, relative layout, and we are taking one image view. Under images, image view, and uh, we are taking IC launcher. And after that, we are taking uh, two text views. And let us say change some properties. So the height I'm giving for this uh, image is a uh, 60 dB and as well as a uh, text view is a uh, underscore name and this one is a uh, underscore uh, description and uh, so we need to give the same id here otherwise uh, we are going to get a wrong alignment now after that we are giving some property called text size i'm giving text size is a uh, 24 sp and the same i'm taking for this text view also once you created this, you need to come to main activity 
under get view method using the inflators concept you need to call that XML file. So here already we are having the view class reference. So we are taking that one equal to get layout inflator dot inflate method. So inflate method will return the view class object. That's why we have taken the view class reference there. So we are calling the XML file r dot layout dot custom layout and uh, next one we are passing the null value. From this custom layout, whatever the views we are having, we need to call them image view, image view equal to image view and a view dot uh, find view by id r dot id dot image view. Next uh, text view, text view underscore name equal to text view view dot sorry if you are not calling the view then uh, you will get a null pointer exception so compulsory we need to use the view reference here view dot find view by id r dot id dot uh, text view underscore name and this one is a description description equal to text view underscore description now we need to bind the data to this uh, image view so dynamically we are setting the image view using set image resource method so here we got that method so we need to get the image from the images array so i'm calling the images array and uh, we are passing this integer i why because suppose get count method is written the size of the data is a 10 so get view method will execute 10 times and it will return the 10 views here now. So first time the i value should be uh, will be 0 and uh, 10 times it is executing in a sense each time i, I value will be incremented by but that's why we are passing i. So every time it will take uh, each item from the array. So text view dot uh, set text of names of i and uh, text view description dot set text of descriptions of i and finally we need to return a here view reference now once we implemented this uh, base adapter next we need to create an object for the custom adapter so custom adapter custom adapter equal to new custom adapter and we need to set this adapter to the list view so set adapter of uh, custom adapter now we are going to execute the application let us see whether we are getting an output or not and if you like my video you can subscribe my channel and you can share my video and you like my video and uh, I'll show I'll I'm going to keep the source code of uh, this project in a below in the below description so we got some error let us see what is that so in the main java right uh, we have a problem with the r dot layout dot custom layout so what it is saying custom layout so we already created the custom layout right so custom layout is already created custom layout dot xml okay fine let us clean the project clean project Still, still we got the other. Okay, control space. It's a custom layout. There is no underscore. Fine. Now we'll we'll execute. So here we got the output. Okay, so some text view is overlapping. Let us adjust that one. Fine. 
Now we got the output. So uh, all Android examples code you can get in my blog. Just to type in the Google Rams Android, then you'll get my blog. So just open it. So here in this blog, you'll get uh, all Android uh, examples, all Android code examples. Thank you for watching.